Okay, I'm going to show you how to use our new service request database program. First, you just need to open up the file. And when it first opens up, you have to pardon me, my computer prompts me for some other security stuff. Let me click all those out. Okay, when you first open up the program in Excel, you're going to have a security warning up here if you're using Microsoft Office 2007. And you do need Microsoft Office 2007 to run this properly. Just click the Options button. And once that's done, you just click Enable This Content, and then click OK. OK, so now you're going to be able to use the Service Request Log program without any problems. So as you can see here, we have a list of the service requests with their originator, so the person who originally made the request, the location, so wherever it may be, whether it's at a building or a particular room, the details of that request. So say here, you know, it could be an overall, it could be something specific, it can be whatever, whatever the detail that comes with that request. The due date, you assign when you want it completed by, so you can keep track of that. And who you're assigning it to. You can assign it to a supervisor, you can assign it to an employee, whoever you want to keep, you know, keep track of that. The service request type. Here's where you put if this were like a complaint, for example. Now as you see here, I, and then you also have your status where you can open and close a service request from here. Now as you see from the complaint, I manually typed it in. That's not actually the way this system works. The system works by enabling you to be able to just click this button, New Service Request, and it's going to open up the New Service Request uh, window. We're able to add one. So we're going to say I'm, you know, so and so took the call and it came from me. And the location was from the high school that we, you know, that company XYZ cleans. And we're going to say that, uh, please dust the blinds this weekend. They need it really badly. Please submit separate invoicing for this. And, you know, wh whatever that may be. And you have to pardon my spelling. It's terrible. And we're, uh, you will have a spell check feature added into this. I have it deactivated right now. But, okay. And then we have the service request type. So here we're going to just have a separate, this is just going to be a work ticket. You know, now if it were like a missed trash can, it could be it could logged as a complaint, it could just be a request, a compliment, whatever you want it to be. And in later versions, we're working on it, you're just going to have a drop down where you're just going to click and you'll be able to select from the drop down. Then the due date, you know, here we can see today's the 15th, well, the weekend, so we have until the 18th to get this done. And I'm going to assign this to Jose Smith to get this accomplished. And that's it. When you're done, you just click Add Service Request. You can add. You can now just go through and add another service request. Just type over all the fields again. Or if you're done, just simply click Close. And if you scroll down, you're going to see here's a new service request. Chris Terrell, Jonesboro High School. You know, here's all the details about it. Here's the. Let me move up so you can see that. Here's the due date. So when when we want this to be due, assigned to. You know, and this is the type. It's a work ticket, and it automatically leaves the status as open. So once it's done, we're going to look at. You know, for example, here we have Tony Stewart at Simmons Main. The popcorn machine wasn't clean. Well, they got it clean, so we just scroll over here, click, and we click closed. And we can now see that it's closed. Now, currently, it's set to show all views. But say you only want to see, well, I only want to see my open tickets. I want to see which ones do I need to take care of. Just click show open, and it's going to automatically just sort it for you. And you can look and see all of the same information, but it's only showing you the open status. Uh, same with the closed. Say if you just want to see closed. And then same with all service requests. So that's how you enter a new service request into the service request log system.